Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Exercise number seven and identify the adjectives and the noun modified by it in the following Quranic verses. In these verses, you need to tell which is Sifa, which is Mosu. You need to tell about Nath and Manut. So the first student today we have is Miss Mishka. Miss Mishka, tell me the Nath and Manut in this Sifa and Mosu. Wa alaikum wassalam. Other student, can you hear me? Yes. Other student can hear me. This means there is some problem on your side. So, anyone else? Next to have is Miss Rama. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum Tell me about Sifa and Masuf, Nath Manut in this ayah. Who are the Fausul Azim? Ali Fausul Al Azim. What is Faus? Manut Mosuf, okay. Okay. Manut. Okay. Not one Manut, Abi. Sir. Not one Manut. Yes. So what is Faus? Not or Manut? Faus, Faus, not. Faus is Al Mut. Azim is not. Okay. Okay. In Naha Bakaratu, Safu. Pass of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and nine. Okay, next number two, what is Manut and what is Nath in this sentence? Bakaratu. Bakra is in Nath or is it Manut? It's Nath. It is Manut. Okay, Manut. Bakra is Manut. Manut. Next. Manut. Okay. Haza <coughs> Yaumu Azim. Yaumu man out hmm. and asib not okay next walahum azabun alim azabun not manut azab is manut man manut <coughs> Alim now it's okay. Wada lika yaumu yaumu mashhud yaumu manot mashun not. Next to the lahum fiha. Mr. Rizwana, next. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Lahum fiha naimun mukimun. Naimun is manat and mukim is not manut and not mukim. Anzalna ayatin mubayinatin ayatin manut and mubayinatin is the not. Inna haza la sahirun alimun. La Sahirun is Manat and Alimun is not. So Sahirun manat. is Manut. La is a separate entity. Okay. So only Sahirun. Yes. So it is not Li. So I thought it is together. No. It is not Li, no? No. What is the meaning of La? We will learn it in the grammar, inshallah, later. Next, Alimun is not Fata Fata Yam Mamu 
Sayyidan Tayyiban. Sayyidan is Manut and Tayyiban is not. Fihina Khairatun Hisanun. Khairatun Manut and Hisanun not. Al Murakabul Azafi. <clears throat> it is in English, it is known as the Azafa phrase. So we will learn about Al Murakabul Azafi. So basically, the combination of Muzaf and Muzafile is known as Murakabun Azafi. The combination of Muzaf and Muzafile is known as Murakabun Azafi. Muzaf ilayhi mean possessor and Muzaf mean the thing which is possessed. Like Kalam Talibi, the student's friend. Here Kalam is Muzaf and Talib is Muzaf ilayhi. So combination of Muzaf and Muzaf ilay is known as Al Murakabul Azafi. So you need to remember one thing that the Muzaf cannot take Alif Lam. You can't use Al with Muzaf. You can't use Tanween with Muzaf. You need to remember this point. And Muzaf can be used in Marfu, Mansub or Majroor form according to the sentence. In case of Muzafile, it is always Majroor. So Muzafile must be Majroor. And you can use Al and you can use Tanween with Muzafile. Ms. Foz Adana, read this. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum as -salam. The the idafa phrase al murakkabu idafiyu. Example, ala alas f alas f ismiya nasrullah qarib. I offer thanks for Almighty's blessing. Shakar tu niyamatullah. Believer is afraid of Allah, Allah's punishment. Al Mumino Mushfiku Min Adabalo. Explanatory note. Examine the underlying places in the above mentioned example. Each place consists of two nouns. The first one, which has been related to the other. In Arabic, in Arabic, rules such as places in stem, murakkab idafiyu. The first term of this place is called mudaf, and the second term is called mudafile. In the places, nasrullah, nasir is mudaf. And Allah is Mudaf Ilay. The Mudaf proceeds the, the Mudaf Ilay. In English, this arrangement is referred as this kind of synthesis can be formed by the addition of a simple apostrophe S to I'm the okay. single, to the singular. Pardon, sir. Continue. To, uh, to the singular and irregular plural. Consequently, when translating Kalamu uh, Katolibu, the student. Will come the students will, students will confess and then and pen 
we come after it. The other form of genitive is, in English, is formed by using the particle of between two nouns, e.g., the day of decision, in which case the order will be the same as in Arabic. Yomul Fasal. Some important points regarding the first term and the second term of the Idofa places may be noticed. <clears throat> what is Al-Murakabul Al-Idafi? Al-Murakabul Al-Idafi? Hmm. Uh, the combination of uh, Mudaf or Mudafile. Okay. And what is the meaning of Mudaf? Mudaf. Uh, what is the meaning of Mudaf Ilehi? Mudaf Ilehi? Mudaf Ilehi means processor. Mudaf Ilehi means? Processor. Processor. And what is the meaning of Mudaf? Uh, since which process? Yeah, which is processed. Next student, we have Miss Mishka. Read this footnote. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum wassalam. This relationship may express position. For example, Kitabu Zaidin, Zaid's book and may also denote some other relationship or association. Example, Ma'ul Bahr, uh, water of the sea, and Alimul Ghaib, nor, nor of the invisible. It should be remembered that the idafa, the genitive of position, is one of the distinguishing features of a noun. The first term and the second term of the idafa phrase must be nouns. Muzaf and Muzafile must be known. Now start from this point. Some important points. Some important points uh, regarding the first term and the second term of the Idafa phrase may be noted. Uh, Muzaf, the first term, the first term of an Idafa must not take the article Alif Lam. It has no nonation. It may occur in the nominative, accusative, or genitive case according to its grammatical function in a sentence. In sentence uh, nas, sentence one, nasr, which is the first term, has occurred in the nominative case because it is the subject of a nominal sentence. In second sentence, na'ma, being the object of a verb, is in the accusative case and in sentence three, azab is taken in the genitive case by a preposition. Why, what did you learn in this point? The third one? Yes, this first term. What did you learn in this whole uh, section? Muzaf must have the article Alif Lam and no mean with the Muzaf. Muzaf must not have must, oh, must not have al Islam. Mm, you can't use al Islam with Muzaf and you can't use Tanween with Muzaf. Okay. Then what else? Yeah. Then the nominative case. Uh, <clears throat> if the Muzaf is in the nominative case, so sometimes uh, the Muzaf will be Marfu. Sometimes the and, Muzaf will be Mansub and sometimes mm -hmm. the Muzaf will be Majroor. Majroor. Depending upon the sentence. Grammar. So you have learned three points here. First point, you can't use Al with Muzaf. Second point, you can't use Tanween with Muzaf. Third point, sometimes Muzaf will be Marfu, sometimes Mansub and sometimes Majroor. Next yeah. point. Miss Rama. The, the second the second thing 
of, of an adolfa is always in the genitive case, as in the evidence from the word alone, <coughs> alone in daily sentence. Second, the second term can take the article al and can also be no state. Example, the man's house. Beto Rodul, Rodul, a student's book, Kitabul to living. And now with, with the following definite gen, genetistic is definite also. Therefore, in Beto Rodul, Beto will be considered definite. In Arabic, cool. In in now we a follow indefinite genitive said to G. Mokosos particulars, which is a grant between definite and indefinite. What did you learn in this point? We learned that. Um, Mudof Ile can take Alif and La. Yes, with Muzaf, we can use Al and Al, La. Yes. We can use Tanmin also. Oh, sorry, with Muzaf Ile, sorry. With Muzaf Ile, we yes. can use Al and with Mudof Muzaf Ile, we can use the Tanmin also, okay? Yes. And no. what else you learn here? We learn here that um, Mudof Mudof can can take ten win, then Mudof can take uh, my phone. Muzafile is always majroor, not marfu. It is always majroor. Okay. 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 Muzafile yeah. is always majroor. So you learn two things basically here. First thing, Muzafile is always majroor. Always. It must be majroor. We don't have any other choice. And Second thing that with Muzafile you can use the article Al and you can use the Tanween. Tanween of Kasratain only, okay? No Fatatain, no yeah. Dhammatain, only Kasratain. Uh, yes. So next we will learn Muzafile is a Kana Musanna on Jamma. What will happen if the Muzafile is Musanna or Jamma? What? Will happen if Muzafile is dual and plural. You already know the majroor form of Musanna. Does anyone remember? Anyone can answer? Yes, sir. What is the yes, majroor form of Musanna? In. Ya noon. Fata, ya, school, noon, kasra, like kitabaini, mudarisaini, bintaini. This is the majroor form of Musanna. And what is the majroor form of Jamma Muzakkar Salim? Jamma Muzakkar. It's Yaw and Noon. Una. Kasra Yas Kun Noon Fata. Kasra Yas Kun Noon. Mudarisina. Kitabina. Sina, exactly. Mudarisina. Then we have what is Next example, Mudarisina. You said Jama. Jama Muslimina. Jama Shurva Muslimu. Muslimina. We are talking about Majroor, Mr. Zawana, not Marfu. Majroor form of Mumadina. Sabirina. Yes, Mumadina, Sabirina, Muslimina. All these are the examples of Jama Muzakar Salim. Majroor. Okay. And what is the Majroor form of Jamma Monas Salim? Anyone? Alif and Ta. Yes. Oh, Alif Ta Kasra. Okay. Majroor. So Muslimatin Talibatin. Okay. In this way, you will do it. 
So as you know that muzafile is always majroor. This means that we will use the majroor form of musanna. We will use the majroor form of jamma muzakkar salim. And we will use the majroor form of jamma monas salim as well. Because muzafile is always majroor. Next student is Wana. Yes. The second term when it is dual, a sound plural or a deep indeclinable. Al mudafu ilahi is a kana musanna au jam'an saliman au mamunua minas surf. For uh, the examples, the messenger's tradition is true. Hadisur Rasuli Hakun. The fruit of the two gardens is delicious. Ukulut jannataini lazizun. Lazizun. I read the stories of the prophets. Karatu kasasan nabiyina. The believing woman's characters are exalted. Akhlaqul mominati samiyatun. I went to Aisha's house. Zahabtu ila baitil Aisha ta. So here we all know that Aisha is mamnu minasarf. And you also know that when mamnu minasarf is majroor, we use fatha. So muzaf no. is always majroor. That's why we are using fatha here. Read the explanatory note as well. Explanatory note. You have learned that the second term of the idafa phrase is always in the genitive case. The rule is unchangeable. The signs denoting the genitive case, however, may vary from noun to noun. If the second term is in singular noun or an ordinary broken plural, not a diptote or a diptote, made definite by the article al, then the genitive case is indicated by a kasra, e. Sentence one. If it is dual, the genitive case is If it is a sound masculine plural, the genitive case is indicated by a ya, Kablaha Kasaratun. Sentence three. Like a singular noun that sound feminine plural is vowelled with Kasara. E. In the genitive case. Sentence four. Dipots when they are devoid of the article Al are vowelled with Fatha. A. In the genitive case. Sentence five. What did you learn in this point? Sir, the mudafila it takes al and uh, it takes either uh, kasra or the genitive form of the musanna or dual or the ati uh, form of uh, feminine plural. So here you know that mudafila is majroor. The will take uh, fatha always. So we will use the majroor form of. Musanna and Jamma and Mumnun Nasar. Yes. Now we will learn the same thing about Muzaf. So you know that sometime Muzaf will be Madfu, sometime Muzaf will be Mansub, and sometime Muzaf will be Majroor. So let's see. What example he is going to give us here? Miss Mr. Mr. Muhammad Samusman Ambalo. Um, the first term when it is dual or the sound masculine plural. Al Mudafu Ida Kana Muthanna. Example, the water of the well is sweet. 
ما ما عل بعر ما عل بعر أزبون the two minarets of the mosque mosque are tall منارات المسجد طويلتان the Muslims of Pakistan are united مسلمو مسلمو بل بل ب مسلمو باكستان متس متحدون explanatory note when a singular noun occurs as the first term of an an idaf it loses its nunation and carries one dhamma one fatha or one kasra according to its grammatical function although the dual and the sound masculine plural have no nunation their noon is a substitute for it consequently when the dual and the sound masculine plural appear as the first term this noon is omitted as illustrated by example two and three these two first terms were bo both before the idaf munaratani and mu muslimuna respectively it has already been mentioned that the declension of the first term keeps varying according to its grammatical function in the sentence in sentence one ma o is the subject therefore it has occurred in the nominative case in sentence two manarata is the subject according accordingly it is in the nominative case and being dual it's rougher the nominative case is indicated by alif if a dual if a dual first term occurs in the accusative case it's alif changes to ya since uh, dual has a ya in the accusative case as you have already learned similarly if a dual first term comes in the genitive case the sign denoting the genitive case is ya also do you know what is the meaning of the mean tanween na what is the meaning of tanween ah tanween yawm fatatan wa kasratan wa dhammata if i write a word like this in real we see this word but in reality there is something else here can anyone tell me what is the real form? yes noon yes yeah um, we got to add an an alif in real we have this thing okay instead of writing noon hmm. instead of writing noon spoon we just use tan mean sometimes it is fatatain sometimes it is dammatain sometimes it is kasratain so noon spoon is the short form of this thing okay so when we say that with muzaf we can't use tanween this mean we are saying that with muzaf you cannot use noon okay so when we say that with muzaf you can't use tanween this mean that with muzaf you cannot use noon okay anybody any doubt so you know that with musanna and with jama muzakkar salim they have noon always like manaratan manaratan has a noon at the end muslim moon which is jama muzakkar salim has noon at the end when these words become muzaf we need to remove the noon okay so the real word is manaratan but when it becomes muzaf 
we must remove noon because with muzaf we cannot use tanween similarly muslimun when it become muzaf we need to remove the noon because with the muzaf you cannot use tanween okay if anyone has any question okay. they can ask me now So Sam, he will, he will give you some more examples of this thing. That the original word is manara taimi, which has noon, but it becomes muzaf. So we need to remove the noon, it becomes manara tai. Okay. So next student we have is Miss Foda Dana. Read these examples. Example, appositive. Raaitu manarate al masjidi maful bi e maso. Genitive Nadartu ilan manarate al masjid majrur bil majrur bi ili. The sun masculine plural when it is the first time. Of an idofa, we appear with wow, with a wow in the nominative case, and with a ya in the accusative and genitive case. In chapter 63, Ali Muslim Pakistan is the subject and is therefore in the nominative. Case. The sign denoting the nominative case is wow. Well. Accusative. Uh, Ohebul Mus, Muslimi Pakistan. Mansub. I love the Muslim of Pakistan. Genitive. Fi, fi Muslimi. Pakistan, Khairun Kathir, Majur B. Fi. There is a lot of food in the Muslims of Pakistan. What? What? Okay, next what we be? have is Miss uh, Mishka. How much we have left? Okay, Miss Mishka. Yes. Ta'addudul mudafi wal mudafi ilay. Multiplicity of the first and the second term. Sometimes mm, there are several mudaf and mudaf ilay in one phrase. Example. Babu Baiti Zaidin, the door of Zaid's house. Uh, Ibn, Ammun, Ibn Ammi Salim, Salim's paternal uncle's son. Manarota Masjidin, Masjid al Madina, the two minarets of the Holy Mosque. Uh, Banubnati Ammi Salim, the son of his uncle's daughter. In such a case, the noun or nouns in the middle being the mudaf ilay of the noun appear first uh, is always in the genitive case. Secondly, it neither takes the art nor is none. Also, the mudaf and one rule of mudaf ilay is applied to it. Consider the word uh, bait. Um, Masjid Ibn in the above mentioned examples. What did you learn here? Sir, uh, we have multiple mudaf and mudafilai. The uh, following mudafilai is mudaf for the next one, and that mudaf is the mudafilai for the second one. Okay. So it will follow the rules of both Muzaf and Muzaf in yes. such situations. Okay. 
next time inshallah we'll start this the first term and the second term of reserve phase if anyone has any question they can ask me no question so we'll stop here and next time we'll continue ma salama